Hi everybody, today is our last day of Zog learning. I hope you've really enjoyed this story and exploring it a bit further. So today, as it is Friday, we're going to have one last go of using our imagination to do with Zog. When we finished the story yesterday, can you remember what happened? That's right. Yes, exactly. So when we finished the story last time, there was a really good idea. Zog had decided to be an ambulance, a flying doctor ambulance for Princess Pearl and Sir Gallibur, who were going to be flying doctors. And it finished the story with, what a good idea, said Zog. Then up and off they flew, the flying doctors waving as they zigzagged through the balloon. So today, you're going to think about using your imagination. What do you think the flying doctors did next? They're off to be doctors. You've done some doctor role play, so you know exactly what it's like to be a doctor. I want you to think about who are they going to meet? Which characters are they going to meet next? And how will they help them? So they're off on their flying doctor mission. Who will they see that needs their help that is injured? And how are they going to help them? Have a quick think now. What character, what person would you like to meet? Or maybe it's an animal, maybe from a storybook that you know. They could meet someone from one of your favourite stories. They could meet you. There could be something wrong with you. Or someone from your family or one of your friends. And then what's going to be wrong with them? What's the problem? And how will the flying doctors help you? How will they cure you? You had a good go this week at making your own medicines and your own prescriptions, so you'll be experts at this. What do you think about what character they met next and how they'll help them? Now, that can be quite tricky to think of some ideas and it is Friday, so I've got some ideas to help if you think, I'm not sure. So here are some different characters that you might like them to meet. So I've got here Sir Gadabout meeting a unicorn, a unicorn with an injury. So you might write about next that they met the unicorn and what was wrong with him and how they helped him. I think it looks like he's got a poor head. You might have seen the story of the flying doctors or read the book and it'll give you a clue. You could use the same ideas from the book. That's fine if your imagination is not quite where it should be today or you can make up your own ideas. I've got them here, Princess Pearl and Sir Gadabout and Zog. And those are poor lion. What's wrong with him and how are they going to help him? I have an ogre here from a story. What is wrong with the ogre? Will he let Princess Pearl and Zog? And so glad about helping him, I hope so. And how will they help him? I've got a fairy here. What's wrong with the fairy and how might they be able to help her? And here I've got a witch and her cat. Is the witch poorly? Is the cat poorly? Are they both poorly? What's wrong with them? And how could the doctors, the flying doctors, Zog, Pearl and Sir Gadabout help? And here I've got the big bad wolf. What's wrong with the big bad wolf? Could they help him? Or you could use your own ideas. You could use other ones from a story. So you could use the three little pigs. Like I said, you could use your friends, your family. Or you can make up your own person your, from your own imagination. So today you're going to do a short piece of writing for me about who they met next. And I found some words to get you started if you'd like to use them. You don't have to, but they might help you out. My words here are, as they were flying along, they saw. So we're continuing the story, continuing the Zog story about as they were flying on. So the flying doctors waving as they zigzagged through the blue. As they were flying, they saw and you can pick your own character. So you might say, as they were flying along, they saw a hideous green ogre, exclamation mark. As they got closer, they noticed the ogre wasn't fierce at all. In fact, he was crying. The ogre was crying because he had injured his foot. His foot had grown even bigger than normal and was covered in lots of red bumps. Ow! The ogre cried, please help. 
Then Princess Pearl, Sir Gadabout and Zog flew down a little nervously, but keen to help. And then I might want to use some my time words. After they landed, they noticed the ogre's foot and asked him what had happened. It really hurts, quite the ogre. I dropped my boulder on it. Oh dear, said Princess Pearl. I wonder if we can help. Then she dug around in her bag and found some cream and a plaster. This cream should help, Princess Pearl said, and she wrapped his foot in the bandage carefully. Now remember to change the bandage every day and apply the cream every day before bed. And soon your foot will be good as new. Thank you, cried the ogre. He was very grateful and he waved goodbye to the flying doctors as they zigzagged through the blue so you could make it into a story. However, I do know that you have worked very hard this week. So if you want to make it a bit easier for her, you can just write a few sentences. So you could write, as they were flying along, they saw the big bad woo wolf, full stop. He had a cut to his head. It was red and swollen. Princess Pearl, flew down and put a bandage on the wolf's head. No more trying to blow down houses, says Princess Pearl as she flew away. Or you could make it even simpler than that and you could say, as they were flying along, they saw a fairy who was looking rather sunburnt. Princess Pearl gave the fairy some cut sun cream and told her to put it on every day. So it could be very simple just like that. The things you might like to think about today are your capital letters and your full stops, your adjectives to describe not just the character, but what's wrong with them. And you might want to make your sentences longer with and, but, so, and because. If you do decide you want to challenge yourself to write a flying doctor story, then some awesome orange would be the time words, like you use when you did your instructions. But you can also use them in stories too. I am so proud of how hard you have worked this week. I've loved learning all about Zog with you. So it's just this last push of your imagination. Who do you think the flying doctors will meet next? And what's going to happen? The great thing about using your imagination is you can make it exciting for you. Any character you like, anything wrong with them you like, it could even be a little bit silly, it's fine. So I can't wait to see what you imagine will happen next. Who will they meet and what will happen? Have a lovely day, work really hard and it's nearly the weekend. Well done year one, I'm really proud of you. Bye bye.